What's up guys, this is Josh with the Holy Ruckus coming to you, bringing you three pointers in our spoiler review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. You had this big overwhelming theme of family, la familia, this, this thing of you know loving the family and doing things uh, for them that you wouldn't normally do and just sacrificing oneself. And I wanted to give you my three pointers um, if you've already seen the movie, so spoiler alert, we're going to talk about it. But number one, our first pointer was you get to know a little bit about God. Uh, when I say God, I mean the big God, but then you also get the lowercase g God. Um, and you have this story of Peter and the adventure that he takes the Guardians on because he meets his father. And his father wants to have a relationship with him. His dad comes and finds him and shows him this whole world and pretty much reveals that he is the one true God. I mean, not really, but know that he is a God. But then you find out there's an agenda between Ego and what he wants to do with his son. He was going from place to place and he, he didn't have no purpose. He, he wanted to know why he was here, right? This existential question of searching outside of oneself which you're just like, yes, yes, tell me more, tell me more. But then when you find out the real reason why he was making stuff was so that he can control everything. This character creature of God, but not the real God. This God was an egomaniac. He's the actual uh, opposite of our God. Uh, our God is one that creates out of love. So in order to make sure we fact check this thing, we have our very own stat boy who's gonna let us know exactly what the church teaches about the nature of God and how he does his thing. Uh, church boy, uh, what's up? Let us know. Ah, uh, yes. God, infinitely perfect and blessed in himself, in a plan of sheer goodness, freely created man to make him share in his own blessed life. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, anyway, as you can see, uh, the church is right. My second pointer is that of family. And this family dynamic echoes throughout the whole thing, not just with Peter Quill and his dad Ego, but with Peter Quill and the blue guy Yondu, with Yondu and Rocket, but also, most notably, another blue character, which is Nebula, the daughter of Thanos, and Gamora, the green girl who looks like She-Hulk, and their interactions together, the competition that they have, always fighting each other. And then every time Nebula would lose, she would lose, her personhood, she would lose a little bit about who she was. Her dad would abuse her, would take her arm off, or take her eyeball off. He dehumanizes her by, based on what she did. Her mistakes now become a physical attribute on her. She didn't want a competitor, she didn't want to fight, but she wanted a sister, and not a bystander to the pain of others. And you really see this theme of, I wanted you as a person, I wanted a sister. Instead, I got something completely different and you were associated with my pain because you stood back and watched it happen. And third, the third pointer that I have, my three pointer is that of self-sacrifice and that of the fact that you have Peter Quill ready to give himself and ready to do it for his family and that's why he does things. And it's crazy because even you have, um, when you have ego, he, he even says it, he says, you know, what kind of father would I be if I let you make this choice. A very selfish statement. And as we know, the one true God gives us a choice and lets us um, go go with it. We have free will, we have a conscience. Ah uh, yes, um, in the in briefs of Catechism 68 and 69, by love, you hear that love? God has revealed himself and given himself to man. He has thus provided the definitive, superabundant answer to his questions that man asks himself about the meaning and purpose of life. God has revealed himself to man by gradually communicating his own mystery in deeds and in words. Um, by love, he does this. So, yeah. I, I said that. Not, not so many words, and I didn't have the glasses, but I said that. But also we see that there's this bridge between the divine and the human. And Peter is that bridge. During the movie, Ego wants to team up with his son. Not because of love, not to just throw around the ball with dad, right, as they showed in the movie. But he does it because he wants to use Peter, his energy, because he's the only one out of all the trial and error of all his, his sons and his seed dying that he kills because after he has no use for them. He wants to use Peter because his connection with the light is, is palpable, is tangible. The fact that Peter, being a human, his nature can handle the light. 
figure that one out. Anyway, I give this movie four and a half praise hands because it was that good. I really enjoyed it. It shot up to the top of my um, favorite Marvel movies. This has been the spoiler review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Hey, go ahead and check out our other videos, our other reviews we've done, and catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mm-hmm.